Hi friends, in this video we're gonna talk about how to use the secondary axis and twin axis in Python matplotlib plots so that you can plot data of different scales in a single figure. The whole content of this video is present in this blog post and I will leave the link of this blog post in the description so that you can copy paste and practice this code in your own computer. Alright, let's get started with coding. I'm gonna take a blank folder and I'm gonna open it with VS Code. Let's create a new file, I'll just name it index.py. So first let's start import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So we are using matplotlib secondary axis and twin axis, right? So if you don't know how to use matplotlib python module to draw awesome plots, I've already made a playlist on that and I will leave the link of that playlist in the description. So here I've covered a lot of topics regarding how to easily plot data using matplotlib python module. All right, let's try to take some dummy data to do the plot. So this is the data where t is the days. So it's basically the numbers from one to 10 and we have some Celsius values so that I can plot these values with time. So first let's try to create a plot. So I'm gonna write plt.subplots to create a figure and an axis handles. So I got this figure and axis handles here. And now let's try to plot this data. So I'm gonna write ax1.plot, the x values would be t and the y values would be Celsius values. And now since our data is plotted, let's try to export it to a PNG file. So I'm going to write figure.tightlayout and then figure.savefig as output.png. So what I did was very simple. I've just taken some x values, y values, created a plot with it and then saved it as output.png. So let's try to run this now. All of the script is run. Let's try to open this output.png and let's try to keep it in the side. All right. So here you got the temperature and you got the days here. All right, now I have the data of sales also along with the temperature on those days. So that means on the first day, the temperature was 20 degrees and the sales was this much. On the second day, the temperature was 19 degrees and the sales was this much. So now let's try to plot these two values in a same figure. So since I have plotted Celsius values in this axis handle, let me try to copy and paste and use the sales values here. All right, we have plotted the sales values along with centigrade values in the same figure. So now let's try to run this code. After the code is run, you got the output something like this. We are plotting the sales and centigrade values on the same figure. And the problem is that the sales is a very huge number like 98,000, but the Celsius is a very small number, something like 20, 19, 23, etc. So if you want to see a simple correlation or if you want to see a pattern between these two plots, it's difficult because these two plots are of different scales. So now if you have a problem statement like you want to see the pattern of two plots which are of different scales, how can you solve this problem? One very easy approach in matplotlib is to use twin axis. That means centigrade value will use this axis and the sales value will use another axis and these two will share a common x axis and there will be auto scaling between these two axes. All right, it sounds complicated but actually it can be done in a one liner so let's try to explore that. So I'm gonna create a new axis called ax2 equal to ax1 dot twin x so the meaning of twin x means you are creating another axis which actually shares the same x axis with the axis one and that's it now let's try to move this line below this and let's use the axis two to plot the data instead of axis one so what we did was we created an existing axis and created a twin axis sharing the same x axis with this axis and now we are plotting the sales values in this new axis now let's try to run this now. We got the temperature values and the Celsius values in two different scales using the twin x function. All right, let's try to change the colors so that we can understand what is sales and what is temperature. So we have did a little bit of styling here. First we have set the x label as days and we have set the y label as centigrade temperature. We have said that the y label has the color which is red color. So now the temperature values would be in red color and then we have did the styling for the sales values. We have said the Y label would be sales and the color would be a green color. And then even the axis ticks would be of green color using this label color. All right, let's try to run this now. So you can see the red thing is a centigrade and this is the red line, which is a centigrade curve. And then this is the green line, which is a sales curve. And this is the sales plot. So now you can see how the two patterns correlate even though they are of different scales. So this way, just using a one-liner, you can just create a twin x axis and then plot the data of different scale using that twin x axis. 
So all right, that's how you use TwinX to plot data of different scales in two different axes sharing the same x-axis. All right, now let's talk about the secondary axis. Let's take our same example. You know, some users would be comfortable with centigrade and some users would be comfortable with Fahrenheit. So secondary axis can be used when you want to do some conversion and show the axis in different units. So this centigrade and Fahrenheit is a very good example of a secondary axis use case. So now let's try to create a secondary axis which shows the same values of the centigrade and expresses them in Fahrenheit. So how are you going to achieve that? So the AX1 which is plotting the Celsius values, we are going to create a new axis which is called AX Fahrenheit equal to AX1 dot secondary y axis and first thing you need to give is the location. So you want it to be located a bit left to the original axis, right? So it would be minus 0 0.25. So it's basically a number between minus 1 to plus 1 and you express where the location of the y axis should be with respect to the original y axis. So I'm telling that the y axis should be a bit left to the original axis. So I'm telling it as minus 0 0.25 and then I need to give the functions. So the functions is basically a tuple where you specify two conversion functions the functions which convert the primary to secondary axis and secondary axis to the primary axis. So this is one function Celsius to Fahrenheit which converts the primary axis to the secondary axis and this is another function Fahrenheit to Celsius which converts secondary axis to the primary axis. So I got the two conversion functions and let's try to use these function definitions here in this functions parameter Celsius to Fahrenheit and then Fahrenheit to Celsius. So this way using the secondary y axis function I have created a secondary axis to the main axis which converts the Celsius to Fahrenheit. I have mentioned the position and I have mentioned the conversion functions which convert the primary to secondary and the secondary to primary. And now let's try to style this axis. So I am going to say that the Y label would be Fahrenheit temperature and the color will be the same as the temperature color which is the red color and then I am going to say the tick labels would also be the same color which is the red color. So I have derived a new axis and then plotting it. So let's run this code. So here's the output.png. You got a new axis called the Fahrenheit axis, which is derived from this primary axis, which is the centigrade axis. Using the secondary y axis, we were able to convert this y axis to a secondary y axis and plot it here. So if I say the position is zero, let's try to see how it looks. So I'm going to make the position as zero and run this. Then you can see the values are overlapping and they don't look good. So you need to separate these axes and that's the reason why we have given the position as minus 0.25. So the axis will be shifted left. So let's try to run this and now you can see the secondary axis is shifted left. So that's it guys. Using the twin axis you can plot data of two different scales on the same figure and using secondary axis you can show unit conversions on different axes in the same figure. You can see I have created a blog post on using secondary axis and twin axis in matplotlib python plots. I have given you the notes and the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I have also given you references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.